birds out of the window, but can I say, what a great start to the day. This is the first day we've had a little bit of sunshine in this house so far. And oh my God, guys, it's made such a bloody difference. I got up this morning, I made a coffee to go and I took the dog and we went straight into our backyard, which is the woods. <laughs> Might as well be the woods. And um, yeah, we had a really good walk this morning. And what a difference a start like that makes to your day. So I've got this feeling of new lifestyle, new house, new lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just feeling really good. I got home, had a shower, and now I'm on my second coffee of the day. And I just thought you and me could just like have a little bit of a catch up. There's so much been going on here. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> and like the things are just moving really, really fast. And I don't want you guys to miss out. And yeah, but the faster the better because the living conditions, they're not ideal. We're in this little back bedroom. We're basically camping in an empty house. That's basically what we're doing. So I can't even remember what you guys are caught up on. I think the last video I filmed was the empty house tour and then a Poundland haul, wasn't it? So yeah, moving day, just quickly, moving day was obviously a hectic day, moving all the stuff into the house. It's all in that middle reception room at the moment in boxes with dust sheets over the top of everything because we got to work straight away. There was no way I was putting anything away in that old kitchen. You couldn't even clean the oven if you wanted to. It was like a way old, dusty old thing. And there was no way I was going to cook food in that. No chance. So hubby just got to work straight away and ripped out the kitchen. I'm left with, um, he got me a little bit of work top so that I can, I've got a surface to work on and chop on. We thrifted an oven, like a freestanding oven cooker thing from Facebook for about 40 quid. And yeah, that's in the middle of the kitchen at the moment. And then um, we've been cooking on that at the minute. And then this, we're just camping in this back bedroom. We've got bare essentials, skincare routine, non-existent. But yeah, if I'm being totally honest, this is what's given us the motivation. Living like this is giving us the motivation to just crack on. So that's why so much has happened um, so far. We've started to change energy suppliers over and all the like change of address stuff. We've changed our energy supplies over, but can I just say, we knew bigger house, bigger bills. We know that. We're not stupid or naive in that sense. Um, but water, sorry, United Utilities, um, the last house we was on a water meter. So we used like a pay as you go system. So you pay for what you use, which was fine. We just lived as we normally would and got used to the payments of whatever that costed. So we all we both have a shower every day. You know, we use the washing machine every day, the dishwasher every day, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, this house does not have a water meter and it's double the price. We're going to still be using the exact same system as what we would in the last house. So what I mean is we're reluctant to pay double the price and we're using the same amount of water. It just seems a bit ridiculous. We understand it's a bigger house, but we're still using the same amount of water. We understand that if it was energy, obviously the house is bigger and it takes double the heat or whatever. So we know that that's going to go up, but can't understand why I'm paying double water when I'm just using the same amount of water. So we've got onto United Utilities because we're going to be trying to reduce the bills as much as possible. Obviously, we've got a renovation to pay for. Um, and yeah, we've got in contact with them and they're going to come out and see if we can have a water meter fitted. And it's like this with everything. I wish everything was pay as you go because we're really, really good. You know, we don't use everything. For instance, like council tax, I know that we pay for um, <clears throat> like ambulance and fire engine and all that, but we don't like really use them services and I wouldn't mind, I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind paying as you go for services like that to reduce our monthly bills. I just think it would give everybody the incentive not to abuse the system as well. I don't know, just my opinion. Mother's Day were a little bit different this year, but Joelle got me some little gifts and oh my gosh, they were so welcome, these little bougie gifts. 
I've just had them down here on the floor since Mother's Day, but um, I'll show you what she got me. So the little darling, I picked her up from work on Mother's Day. She got to finish early because she was working that Sunday, bless her. And to be honest with you, everything's upside down in the house anyway. So obviously I got a card, which is very personal. So I won't be reading that out to you guys, but she got me a little gift bag with some plant-based range face masks. She knows I love a face mask and I actually collect these from a bathroom. <clears throat> so we've got a coconut infused sheet mask and then this one is a pumpkin infused sheet mask. So excited to use this. Pumpkin ivy bergamot, that, that smells amazing. And this one's coconut mushroom and red algae. And they look like this. I don't know where these are from. <clears throat> but yeah, they're in there. Little pamper. I got a big bunch of um, oriental lilies, which I think you saw at the beginning of this video. They're just about opening up now. I've put them on the dining room, the breakfast room table at the moment. And she also got me a spray of baby's breath. Um, stems which I absolutely love and I also keep my baby's breath stems when they're dried out they look absolutely stunning so I'll be keeping hold of those even when they've dried out also they're my favorite flower they was like my wedding flower of choice sorry so what else did she get me she got me a calm rose and thyme candle in a little jar and it smells absolutely delicious again it's really earthy tone like cow shed candles and i'm currently collecting all of the smells for when the first coats of paint have been done and then we can get some real good candles burning through this house i can't wait for that oh and she got me a bottle of whispering angel how bougie now, I've never even tried the Whispering Angel, but everybody raves about this wine. So I'm hoping it's as good as what everyone makes out, because if it is, I think this is going to be my new rosé of choice, hopefully. And I want stocking up on wines like this for our new bar area downstairs in the reception room. So that was a very welcome bougie gift so if you're watching this joelle thank you so much she also picked up these for me so pink up your drink and it's like dried raspberries and leaves and things like that hibiscus rose raspberries to pink up your gin or prosecco it says gin or prosecco but you can pop it in any drink i suppose but won't that look pretty in a glass of rosé so yeah she picked up this for me as well and this is from the mns food um court so yeah bit of a different um mother's day um i don't really like to celebrate and go out for a meal on mother's day especially on the day itself because it's just too busy out there for my liking i prefer a more quiet setting and just unfortunate that we didn't get to have a nice little day together here at the house but because obviously everything's all over the place so we can't do that yet so i'll pop these away and these will come back out once we have a room downstairs that is more or less done so we'll save those and stockpile all the bougie things that we buy in this room and then other than that it's just been work 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 here at the house so lots of stripping off of wallpaper i will give you guys an update soon in the house i think i'm gonna have a nice day today and then hubby's gonna pick me up we're gonna nip to b and q later probably doing so many b and q runs it's going to be you're gonna be sick of it <laughs> and um we're planning ahead as well so i also need to go shopping for just like window shopping at the moment we need to start looking for a floor that's going to go throughout the ground floor of the house and yeah i'm gonna start pop popping on a little bit of a face of makeup to be honest and try and get myself looking a little bit more put together so to speak because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Not seeing any Cotswolds stone on here. <laughs> I just wanted to see if they've got any really like tall skirting board. This is really nice, but it's just not tall enough. How nice is that wood grain? Imagine that, just rustic in the house, not even painted. Beautiful. So it looks like this is the tallest that they do and even this isn't tall enough. So we wouldn't be able to replace the, the skirtings if we wanted to really unless there's somewhere else that sells really tall skirting boards if you've got any idea please let me know i feel so free i'm a sweet baby he's got me a sander <laughs> i'm so excited to use that you don't even understand my little sander <laughs> My little Mac, Alistair. Very good. I'll have to watch a million YouTube videos on how to um, use that. <laughs> so I don't know if you could hear me outside because it was windy, but he's bought me a sander and I'm so excited. Looking forward to your tea today. You're always looking forward to your tea, hubby. Ah. Friday, Friday. I am, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's gonna fall. I'm, I'm just gonna read. We've got one sanding sheet. One sanding sheet. Well, there's, you can get more, you can buy more. One dust bag. One vacuum adapter. So we've had to buy some of this because you have to prime the metal beam, the RSJ, or something like that. This was from Screwfix. So we're in the one of the lounges working hard. Ash is dismantling the radiator in the background and I'm just stripping this wall and I just wanted to show you. The wallpaper just came off like it was so easy in one big lump as you bloody saw. But I wanted to show you this, it's like foam underneath the wallpaper and it's brilliant because just so I watch how easy this comes off, it just flakes off. Quite, quite nice. I wish all the wallpaper were like this. Do you think this is because it's older wallpaper, Ash? Insulated wallpaper, maybe. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he's out of answers? What's it like to be the one that he comes so to? So we're in the hallway downstairs, the long corridor that takes you through the house and this is going to end up being the back wall in the lounge that might not make sense to you guys right now but it does to me but i just wanted to show you it needs stripping so it's got this like palm style i think this is from the 90s do you guys recognize this paper from the 90s because i do but yeah it's got this palm style design and it's been painted over a million times the top layer is coming off quite quite nicely because it's been painted so I'm actually like happy about that but yeah as you can see the lining is like really stuck on it's one of them so we're gonna just spray it because if you steam walls too many times you know, like with the wallpaper steamer you can ruin the walls Um, that's what the walls are in pretty good condition I'm gonna give you a little tour of what we've done so far in a minute and then show you the state of the walls in there I expect them to be crumbling and all sorts so it looks like we're going to save some money on um, a lot of plastering work. I'll show you anyway, but yeah, we've just been spraying them with water, leaving them 20 minutes, and then when the when this lining paper is like just about damp, it's coming off really well. Hopefully, so we won't have to steam after all.
So I thought I will come and show you the progress so far. I'm starting to lose track of time. I'm forgetting what I've filmed and what I've not filmed and just like things have been moving like so fast paced around here. So you'll just have to bear with me. But I'm gonna give you a little tour of what's been done so far. So we're starting off here in the hallway and as you can see, all the carpets have been pulled up and we've also stripped off the wallpaper in the hallway as well we were just really surprised at how well it came off this is the wall behind we've got this deep red color underneath and then the, the original plaster some of it needs skimming especially around the door frame where it's been crumbling and you usually get that don't you around the door frames and windows in old houses so yeah, we're going to have to have some skimming done, but not as much as we thought, you know, because most of these walls are in pretty good condition, apart from, like I said, round the edges. So that's really good to know. So we're going to save some money there. Ash has been to the local bakery to get his lunch. What's that, Ash? Chicken and bacon. Chicken and yeah. bacon. <gasps> what have you got for me? Tuna salad. Oh my God, look at the size of that. That looks so good. Fresh sausage rolls. One's spicy, one's regular. What is this, tell me? Coffee Renoir. Coffee Renoir. <laughs> what? I'm salivating. Right, guys, I'm going to eat this lunch. Look at this coffee donut. I am not waiting for hubby. He's making us both the coffee, but I am not waiting for him. This is so good. This bakery was so good. It's our new local bakery. <laughs> It's got like custard filling in it as well. Coffee the top, it glazes coffee with like nuts on it. <laughs> so where were we? Yeah, in the hallway. So yeah, it's come off really quickly. So that's really good. And we're getting towards more of a blank canvas now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the stairs just yet because I'm hoping to you know once this wall's gone we're gonna have all this space and i just want these stairs to come round just a little bit more so that you come towards that lounge area i'm just being susie with all the details aren't i we're just being a susie but anyway yeah this is the hallway like you just saw me strip in this afternoon we're still on with that so that's the current progress. So I'm just on with that at the moment. But the real um, transformation so far has actually been in here, in the snug. I'm going to call this room the snug. So I can't remember if I showed you guys. I'm going to put you on a wide lens so you can see, ultra wide lens. If I'm repeating myself, please forgive me because I've forgotten if I've not told you this or not. That's why. But we have marked out up here where the opening is gonna be. So we're gonna open all this wall up, all the way along, right up until where the doorway was originally. And then we're gonna arch the corners. So into that room, it'll be like an archway. And as you come down the stairs, you're gonna see into straight into that room. Hopefully it's gonna lead you that way as well with the two bottom stairs extended yeah so the wall has been marked out already hubby's keen to get started on that and we're going to need now forgive me because i don't know the real name of things but yeah these metal pipes here are used to hold up the wall um whilst we put in i think is it an rsj or it's some sort of metal like beam that's going to then structurally hold the wall up so that we can have the opening here but just gonna stand back so you can see how nice will it be when that whole wall is gone and you've got the whole view of the stairs into this room it's gonna look so good Ash has just been picking up loads of tools we need for that and as you can see the carpet's all gone they're all rubble sacks from all the rubble and old wallpaper that we've ripped off the wallpaper came off really well in here and like I said the walls are in really good condition you know guys so it only needs minimal skimming especially like I said around 
around the windows um, it's a little bit crumbly and then the same on this side The full fireplace has come out now. It goes really deep, but we stripped off. It had a big marble slab at the bottom and an old fireplace. They had like a four fireplace on the top covering this original fireplace. It's even got the stamp inside it from where it was from. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a real fire there. We're gonna keep that there. Um, the wallpaper, it was a bit harder to come off this section the chimney breast wall but we got it off in the end it's still drying out because we had to wet it like i said the lining paper these architraves are coming off the chimney breast wall so it's going to be like a normal skimmed chimney breast wall but look at that ceiling detail My mother-in-law agrees with me because they came around today to have a look at the progress, but she agrees with me that them windows are absolutely awful. They're like metal windows. Anyway, won't these windows look good with like UPVC sash windows in? I just think that they just look stunning. And yeah, I'm not putting them in for the house to look nice, you know, to everybody else. I want it to look nice for us. And these windows are facing the woods. No one's going to see them, but we're going to see them. And they're gonna make such a difference. Even if we just spent on this room and the one above this room, which is the bedroom, and just put them in those two rooms, I think that would even be nice. Yeah, so that's basically the update. And we're just keen to get this wall out now. Obviously I've not stripped this wall at the back because it's getting knocked out so there's no need to do that and that is the wallpaper <laughs> do you know what as well i feel actually better that it's a building site now i just feel like you can start to see it come together so as you walk through back through to the hallway we're going to be knocking out this wall as well and we're going to have an archway here and then you're gonna see into the second reception room. And then that way you can walk straight through the house, through here into the middle bit, which is the staircase, and then into this snug room as well. And you'll be able to access the property this way. Whereas at the moment, you've only got this little corridor, like, I've, like I'm stripping it now, but like this is the only way you can get to the other side of the house. So I'm just gonna, hello. <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're actually having a doorway at the end here because this bit i didn't show you on the empty house tour but this area at first round the corner into the hallway stairs where it's got a door and the cellar's down there the cellar is not a room though so we can't convert it it's not high enough to stand up in i think they just used it to store the coal and then you would come down the little corridor at the back and then not disturb the family in the family room and get the coal and things like that yeah so this room is going to be a little downstairs cloakroom toilet and then we're going to block off with a wall this corridor from this side that wall will be knocked out into the lounge and then that wall will become the lounge so then there'll be no corridor at all i hope that's making sense there will be the door to the cloakroom so there'll be no access that way anymore and instead we'll have opened up all of this and all of that update on the bedroom so this is the bedroom again we've stripped off all the floor all the wallpaper what you can see there is just different it's the same plaster but just different colors we've stripped it right back they've obviously had the fireplace all blocked up in here i must admit i've noticed living here a week and it's quite drafty when you've got fireplaces and open chimneys it's really drafty and cold but i think if you've got working fireplaces that won't be the case so anyway we've stripped off all the walls we've discovered that the fireplace has gone they've blocked it up like i said we're hoping to 
find it behind this if not we're going to make one a fire stove in here so we're still going to have a real fire in here we've also found these tiles i love discovering things like this yeah unfortunately they won't be staying one of my aunties actually commented and said are you keeping the original floorboards some of them are in really good condition but downstairs especially they're not in great condition there's patches all over and you can really see like a lot of differences in it so discrepancies even so yeah we're not going to keep the original floorboards which is a real shame because i would have liked to yeah which is a shame because i would have really liked to but here's the bedroom and we're just letting it dry out at the moment there was a lot of condensation up here we ripped out all of the cupboards that you saw originally in this room we found the gorgeous ceiling detail but it's only where the cupboards were inside the cupboards the rest they've just put normal carving on can you see the difference and then the same on that side so the initial plans again for this room is fireplace right down the bottom end down there and I'm gonna then walk towards that way and then look the opposite way. And then that end will be our bed. I'm hoping for a four poster bed or some sort of grand bed in here. And then again, like I said from downstairs in the snug room, the UPVC sash windows would look great downstairs. I think they'll also look great in this room as well. This is such a large window. I don't even think you can get the scope of it on camera. But we're looking out onto the woods and I just think it would be lovely. And then, yeah, um, oh, also, the roof goes like this. There's a lot of points on the Edwardian houses. There's a lot of roof points, which I love on, like, different angles. And I'm hoping for a vaulted roof style just over the window because that's where the roof goes like that outside and that would look really grand in here which i thought that would be a really wow moment for the master bedroom but other than that we're just waiting to dry it out we're looking to um fix up any holes and then we're looking to get a plasterer in and then we're going to pay to have it all re-skimmed and plastered this is one of the rooms that needs doing as well so yeah that's the next step in here good morning everybody it's rotten again <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs and i look like a disheveled mess the house is so dusty that it's actually quite nice to be sat here in the cold car with it raining just to get away from all the dust i'm gonna have to get a dusk mask a dusk mask a dust mask Anyway, I've just been doing the lunch run and I've come to our favourite bakery again. So I'm going to film a little bit inside if I can and show you the array of foods that we've just found. A little bakery gem on our doorstep and we've already been three times. So, so yeah, it's about half past 11 in the morning, nearly lunchtime. My stomach's still not right, you know, guys. I can't really eat much. If I eat too much, I'm back on the toilet. So I'm just picking it a little bit. So I'm not getting a bakery today. I'm also out for dinner with my best friend again tonight. So that'll be nice. That'll be a nice welcome break from all of the work in the house. Obviously, we're just living in a building site. So, but you know, it's not dampening my spirits as such. Yeah, like I said, you can't really see in the house anyway. And I don't want to get in the way either. So I've been hiding away with Ralphie, which is a really good day to ha be hiding in a way really it's raining so i've just like tucked myself away in our makeshift little bedroom situation and then later on i am going to escape the chaos and go and have dinner with my best friend at just a local pub nearby and yeah and probably a few wines so that'll be nice a nice welcome break from all the chaos I've not even brushed my hair today, guys. It's just a mess. Do you know what? When my hair's like this and I look like um, a wild thing. <laughs> wild thing. My husband says I look the cutest. Strange boy. I actually got and 
proposed to i woke up one morning years ago in bed on my birthday i woke up and i used to back comb my hair then so it was like really really big and then i'd slept on it so i looked like an absolutely disheveled lioness lion of some sort like mufasa eat your heart out and my husband proposed to me at that point but I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to nip as well to the local supermarket. So I'm just going to nip to Sainsbury's as well. I'm going to get the ingredients for... I'm going to cook Hubby some dinner before I leave and go out for dinner. Um, yeah, I'm going to cook him. He prefers some cooked food anyway. So don't feel sorry for him, okay? I'm going to cook him a really nice, like peppers and caramelized onions rice dish probably a spicy rice dish and i've got some chicken left over some rotisserie chicken so then i'm going to chop that up and pop that in as well so some sort of fried rice concoction you'll love it <laughs> Are you ready guys? Are you ready to salve it? We've got a jammy dodger, oh, a jammy dodger cupcake, Bailey's Kinder Bueno cupcake, and I've got a little fur baby, a little fur baby cupcake too. Oh, how cute. That is so cute. <laughs> Guys, look what he's done in the cement. <laughs> How cute is that? I can't call. Husband, I love you. <laughs> Here come calling. Okay, so it's the end of the day and I want to show you the updates that have happened over the last couple of days. So let's go down the stairs, Ralphie. You go first, take your time. So first of all, wow. <laughs> we have our archway opening into the snug. I'll put you on a wide lens so you guys can see. So as you come down the stairs and you see the woods at the back, it's like you're walking in the woods. It feels like, from this point of view, that your house is in the middle of the woods because of the trees all around. This is what we are looking at. Um, stood on the stairs just here at the bottom now. Let's move to this way so you can see for real. So, yeah, this is the opening of the archway into the snug from this angle. So we've got our RSJ, which was put in yesterday. And you can see it there. So it's ready to be plasterboarded and then it'll get um, skimmed and plastered. And it looks like a big gaping hole at the minute, but once it's like arched and it's got corbels on and things like that, decorative bits, It'll look absolutely stunning as an opening way into that snug room. Um, another update. We're also ready for a first fix of electrics downstairs in here. I'm going to come and show you the updates of this side of the room. So that's what it looks like from this angle. And I'm getting a lot of questions about this creepy little window at the end of that corridor. So, as you can see, it's not there anymore. We removed the frame of it um, off the wall and then we've plasterboarded over from this side. Now, that's all ready to be re-skimmed, so it won't be there at all. You won't see it at all when it's finished this room. So, that's it from that angle. And I'll explain more about that window in a minute and what we've done on the other side. But as you can see, we don't have an opening now at the back of the stairs and then the basement goes down there but you can't get through access there anymore we've plasterboarded it up so this little section we've extended as part of the staircase and we're going to have it made to look like the rest of the staircase so that will go all the way to that wall and then this is just a stud wall that's been put in today we've had this stud wall put in 
on the back and I'm probably going to have that panelled as in into the rest of the room once we've had it skimmed and finished obviously and then as you can see from this angle we now have an opening as well across the hallway and into the second lounge so the house just floors that little bit better already again it's just one big gaping hole at the minute but we will be arching this as well and this will be in, as an archway obviously we're going to start looking at paneling detail up the stairs we're ready for the first fix of electrics in phase one we're calling this phase one the hallway up to there and into this room as well as upstairs in the master bedroom which is above our head so as i mentioned we're going to cut off that corridor and then make this end a little downstairs cloak room now originally we was going to have the door to the cloak room down here at the end in the hallway but because of the archway here we don't want the door opening on this side so we've decided last minute to just block that up as a wall and i can style that area down there and block it off and instead have the doorway and i'll show you from this side just quickly we're going to have the doorway to the cloak room down here in this corridor so it will be about here the doorway to the cloak room you'll open the door and then we've got the window which we're going to make into a mirror and have this section as our little cloak room just a toilet and a basin in here and then there is the door to the basement which we're just going to have as our little storage cupboard so hoover and everything else can go down in there and then this is will be the cloak room like i said i'm just going to have it obviously we'll have it plasterboarded that's just the stud wall what got put up today and then it'll be plastered and skimmed in here and i will be having like tongue and groove style cloak room it looks really dark and dingy at the moment but once it's all white it'll be absolutely lovely hello puppy puppy likes to wait there for his daddy at the end of the day and the courtyard is just outside of this second reception room isn't it we're gonna get to the outside obviously when we finished inside so i'm not going to show you guys out there but we have got joey's name there in the concrete because he'll be able to reinforce all the rotten floor so we've done that and fixed it all up so that it's a lot better now and that's all the updates we've got for you guys in this vlog so say bye bye to everybody on the vlogs Say bye everyone, see you soon, see you next time. So I'll see you guys in the next one where I should have loads more updates. Thanks for watching, bye.